Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the April 2025 update, the B release or the patch Tuesday for Windows 11 24H2 in the main release. This is a monthly update which improves the security side of Windows 11 and also extends the rollout of certain new features that started rolling out last month. In this video, we are talking about the build 26100.3775 or build code KB5055523. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about the security improvements, the new features that are extending the rollout and of course other important information that you need to know about this new update. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as I've said, the main thing of these past Tuesday updates are the addressing of security issues for the Windows operating system. And of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post to see an in-depth list of all the security issues, breaches that were fixed. Along with that, there are three different things that have been improved in this build and that are specific to this build. Something related to authentication, this update addresses an issue affecting machine password rotation in the Identity Update Manager certificate. This issue occurred particularly when Kerberos was used and Credential Guard was enabled, potentially causing user authentication problems. Also related to daylight saving time, there's an update for the ASIN region in Chile to support the government DST change order in 2025. And there's also an update that addresses an issue affecting the PCA UI ARM update feature, which results in unexpected behavior in specific scenarios. There are also certain AI components that have been updated, for example, image search, content extraction, and also semantic analysis. Talking about features that are extending the rollout from last month, you can talk about new AI features, for example, new Windows AI search for Copilot Plus PCs or new live captions. But other than that, we have the new setting stop cards in the about section and system, and then about with information about your PC, the new gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard, the new emoji icon in the system tray where you can easily access emojis inside the operating system, new task manager CPU utilization logic in certain sections, new lock screen widgets customization options, new Windows Studio effects, and also improvements for file explorer dialogues, for example, copy, cut, which now respect the text size that you set inside settings. There are also other updates, for example, a new native Copilot app in Windows 11, new notepad, photos, snipping tool, and also Microsoft Store updates which add a few AI features and improvements to all these apps. Of course, you can check those out if you update them through the Microsoft Store. And as always, we're getting a Windows 11 service and stack update which ensures that you can install Windows or Microsoft updates reliably. There are also a few known issues in this update but you can check those out in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. So basically, this is the April 2025 update for Windows 11 24H2 on the main release, the B release or the past Tuesday. For more information, as I've said, check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.